In this lesson we're going to talk about divisibility and what it means for one number to be a factor of another. So a definition here says a number x is divisible by another number y if there is no remainder for x divided by y. In that case we would say that y is a factor of x. Okay, so uh, one thing we can definitely say as an example is 12 is divisible by 3. We can also say that 3 is a factor of 12. And the reason we can say both of these things is because 12 divided by 3 equals 4. There is no remainder there. Okay. Um, to give a counterexample, um, so let's talk about 13 and 4. So 13 is not divisible by 4. Um, also, 4 is not a factor of 13. Okay, and why are both of these statements true? Well, because if you try to divide, 4 would go into 13 three times, but what we'd end up with is a remainder of 1. And so since there's a remainder when you divide those numbers, 13 is not divisible by 4, and 4 is not a factor of 13. So that's what it means for one number to be divisible by another another number, um, or also for uh, a number to be a factor of another number. Now the second thing I want to do in this lesson is take a look at some quick tricks for determining whether one number is divisible by another or not. So um, Let's start with 2. The quick check for if a number is divisible by 2 or not is just determine whether it's even. All even numbers are divisible by 2. All odd numbers are not. Um, a less commonly known trick, but it's going to really help you out a lot to learn this, is that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is also divisible by 3. Okay, so this is kind of a weird one, but here's what it's saying. If I write down the number 57,921, I can tell you right off the bat that this is divisible by 3. And you might wonder, okay, how could you possibly know that? Well, just by using this trick. I'm going to add up all of the digits that make up 57,921. When I add those up, 5 and 7 is 12, uh, plus 9 is 21, plus 2 is 23, plus 1 is 24. Now 24, this is divisible by 3. We know that. And the great thing about this little trick is that if this is divisible by 3, you know the number is divisible by 3. If I take 3,802, this is not divisible by 3. And of course the reason for that is because 3 plus 8 plus 0 plus 2 is equal to 13. And of course that is not divisible by 3. So this is a little uh, trick to just keep in your back pocket and remember when you're trying to figure out if a number is divisible by 3 or not. This next one here, a number is divisible by 5 only if it ends in 5 or 0. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. All right, so if it works for 2 and it works for 3, it's automatically divisible by 6. And then a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is also divisible by 9. So 
just like this rule, I know that 963 is divisible by 9. And I know that because 9 plus 6 plus 3 equals 18, and 18 is divisible by 9. I know that 215 is not divisible by 9. And that's because 2 plus 1 plus 5 is 8. And that is not divisible by 9. And finally, a number is divisible by 10 only if it ends in 0, and that's um, likely one that you've seen before. But really try to remember this one and this one, about 3s and 9s. That's going to make life a lot easier on you in this coming section, and especially when you get into Chapter 3 of this book.